Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you five of my store cupboard staples and some quick and easy meal ideas that I think you can do at home. I don't like to spend too long in the kitchen and I like food and I like things to taste nice. So if you like the kind of things that I like to eat, you might enjoy the meals I make. Um, so I'm going to keep that as a vlog section at the end of the video and then through the rest of the video I'm going to show you five of my favourite um, food bits and pieces and a couple of them are supplements but I don't think you have to necessarily buy supplements to be healthy, they're like superfood powders. I do think some things are just marketing and other things I do think are worth investing in if you can. So stay tuned at the end, it's a really good cookie recipe. I'm going to get into the video and show you my first favourite. So the first staple I want to talk about is almond milk and I have almond milk every day pretty much in my coffee normally. I don't really like it with tea too much, um, I think I'd have to sweeten it with something, overnight oats, that kind of thing. I, at the moment I'm drinking the Alpro unsweetened almond milk which has no added sugar in. Um, I do quite like the original one as well but sometimes I find it a bit too sweet and I have quite a sweet tooth anyway so I like to eliminate the sugar and other things if I can so I'm not having like too much sugar in my diet like chocolate and other stuff which I'll show you in a bit. I used to drink the Rude Health um, almond milk which tastes a lot nicer and they actually make that, um, they make my coffee at the coffee shop across the road from me with the Rude Health and it tastes so much creamier. Um, so this isn't like the most tasty almond milk you can get, but it's one of the better ones for you. So the almond breeze and sweeten one too. I don't really like the taste of cow's milk. It's not um, because I'm trying to be like trendy by drinking almond milk. I just don't like. I've never really liked the taste of milk too much. Um, my mum says it's because she drank a lot of milk when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> but yeah, I just prefer the taste of almond milk, so that's what I like to have. So next, I'm going to talk about healthy fats. Um, now, as you should hopefully know by now, fat is not necessarily bad for you, it's not going to make you fat, um, it depends on the kinds of fats you're eating. Things like donuts and stuff contain saturated fats which aren't great for you, but things like avocados, nuts are good for you in moderation obviously. Um, so I like to incorporate some form of healthy fats into my diet and I don't really have much avocado at the moment, I'm not really I'm not into it that much. My favourite way of having healthy fats are through nut butters and my favourite one is normally almond butter but because I made some of those tasty cookies which at the end of the video um, I have peanut butter because it used them in the recipe used it in the recipe I made. I try to make sure there's no added palm oil or salt in my nut butters that I get because it's just best for you that way and I think it's quite tasty without it. I think once you get used to having the nut butter in its purest form then it's just your taste buds adjust and it's a lot nicer. Um, so this one is from Tesco it's just a smooth peanut butter made with 100% nuts expertly roasted and milled for a natural flavour. Um, so it's quite nice that they're doing their own brand now because I love brands like Meridian or Pippin Nut, they're so good, but um, they're not the cheapest. Add it to porridge, just eat it out the jar on its own with a spoon. I'm more likely to do that with um, almond butter than peanut butter. Um, add it to overnight oats, make, do baking with it. There's so many options you can do. I recommend getting some nut butter if you aren't allergic, obviously if you are, avoid it if you can. <laughs> the third one I want to talk about is this jar of goodness, which um, probably looks a bit weird on the camera, but I've got a mixture in here of chocolate chips and cacao nibs. Now I wouldn't say most people would class chocolate as a staple in their um, kitchen cupboards, but for me it is. I really couldn't live without some form of chocolate every day, uh, it's probably really bad for you and um, yeah, but I just, I think for me personally, I'd rather have a bit of what I like each day than like try to say I'm not going to have any chocolate ever um, or like only have it once a week. I would personally find it really hard and probably end up just caving and buying like a whole massive family pack and eating the whole thing. I have a tiny bit every day and um, I seem to be fairly healthy. So what I like to do is get some cacao nibs which are um, a form of raw chocolate and it doesn't really taste very sweet at all but you still get the chocolate flavour. So they're very tiny, like crunchy um, nibs. And then I also get some dark chocolate chips, which are from, you can get them from Tesco or Sainsbury's, and I mix them in together in this pot. And then I add it to light like, yogurts, or my favorite at the moment is petite, the Petite Falou, the like kids ones, I love them. Um, so I get one of those and sprinkle some of these on and it just satisfies like any sweet um, cravings I have. I keep them in these Kilner jars because it just, um, looks pretty in my cupboard. <laughs> now onto supplements. I don't take any um, tablets for my supplements, I just like to try and 
get as many nutrients in my diet as possible. I know I'm probably lacking in some, um, e.g. vitamin D because we don't get much sun in England. I think life's too short to be worrying about that kind of thing all the time. The first one is spirulina. You might have seen me use this in a vlog before and I generally take it every morning. It looks absolutely disgusting because obviously it's like a dark green colour and I think that's because it's some sort of algae or something. Um, I'm going to link some articles or some information down below so you can research it yourself because I'm definitely not a nutritionist and I can't tell you what is in this exactly. I've looked up but um, off the top of my head I can't. This gives me um, a boost of energy in the morning and it's almost like having a green juice without um, having to do all the prep, buying all the ingredients. It just gives you that kind of cleanse feeling. Um, Maybe it's psychological, but it works for me, so I like to take it. I get a teaspoon of this, and then I mix it in with some water in like a tumbler, and then just down it pretty much straight away. Um, I prefer to do that rather than add it to like a smoothie or food, which you can do, I think, but to me, to be honest, it would just ruin the taste so much for me that I don't think it's worth it. It's meant to be very detoxifying for you, and people say it helps with weight loss and all that kind of thing, but I don't think powders really do that so much. I get mine from Amazon, you can get different sizes so if you want to try it out you could buy a small size and see how you get on. Quite similar to things like Corella which is quite popular as well, wheatgrass, they're all kind of a green powder thing. The last thing I want to mention is maca powder and if you like my little jars by the way I've got them like labelled, how cute am I? <laughs> um, and I haven't ex experienced any direct benefits from this personally but I know of people that have um, had improvements in their skin or their like cycle and maca powder is meant to be very good at balancing hormones I think specifically female but male too possibly um, so yeah if you're having problems with like regular breakouts or your period's a bit irregular and all over the place this can apparently help stabilize that and um, keep everything running the way it should skin it's been kind of okay for quite a while now, so I don't know if it's due to this. I take this most days, not every day. Um, I quite like the taste of it. Some people hate the taste of it. I add it into um, my cereal normally. It kind of gives like a multi taste, which I think tastes a bit like the inside of Maltesers, but um, you could think I'm completely crazy thinking that. I think it's just quite a nice one to try um, and experiment with. I mean, it's not going to do you any harm, so if you have the option to try out, I would suggest doing that. I also get this off Amazon because it's a bit cheaper that way than if you go to like Colin Barrett and you end up paying a fortune. I'm going to link it down below if I can find it and um, you can pick up some maca powder for yourself. But it's all about seeing what works for you. These are just things that suit me and I like to eat. You might find something else suits you and really works for you. So yeah, I, I think health is like an ongoing thing. It's something that you should um, keep developing, keep growing with as you change, as um, what's available changes. I hope you found this useful and maybe found some inspiration to upgrade your kitchen cupboards. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with the vlog section of the video. So I hope you enjoy that and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me and yeah, I will see you next time. Good morning everyone. I thought I'd film a what I'm eating this weekend style video. Um, I don't want to do a what I eat in a day specifically because I don't think I'm going to be very structured this weekend with my meals and I don't like to do um, this is what you should be eating or this is what I'm eating kind of style videos because I think um, it encourages people not to listen to their bodies and kind of trust what they want to eat and just look at other people and um, eat what they do basically. So I'm going to have breakfast in a minute, it's actually really late for me and it is 10 to 11. And I've made a, I kind of soaked some all brown this morning in a bowl and added some maca powder, um, cinnamon, almond milk, and then I'm just gonna add some things on top. So I'll show you that in a minute. I'm just wearing a very simple jumper from Dorothy Perkins a long time ago. And Eminus, um, just black loose trousers. And I've got some like cleaning stuff down there because I need to clean the toilets and the bathrooms, but um, this is not a vlog, so I'm just going to show you the food. In my breakfast, I've got the all brown soaked with almond milk, and then I've added some Alpro yogurt, frozen blueberries, and some almond butter. Just made some stuffed aubergine with mozzarella cheese, raisins, which are slightly burnt, and a side salad. I haven't had aubergine in ages, but I really like it. And then I've got a sandwich, which is half of one I had yesterday um, from Eat by Chloe in London. 
and it's got shiitake mushrooms in, avocado and lettuce on whole grain bread. Um, yeah, I just wasn't very hungry for both of them, so save one for today. This sandwich is so good. Got a homemade chicken and black bean meal with basmati rice and uh, spinach, prawn crackers. It's got courgette, sweet corn, um, and pepper, and it's gonna be yummy. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and I'm gonna make some cookies. I'm gonna make some peanut butter dark chocolate cookies, I think. I will show you the final result. Um, I haven't baked on a Sunday in ages, actually. Do these look? <laughs> look at that chocolate. The I just made is broccolini with fish fingers and the broccolini I roasted in the oven with garlic, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, spring onions, sesame seeds, um, soy sauce and salt and pepper and some fish fingers which have kind of collapsed so um, whoops. But yeah, just a nice quick easy meal because I basically ate those cookies for the most of the day so <laughs> need some kind of greens in my body. 